are going the wrong way. He's right? got a little bit you of know? everything he's bringing What's us this going week. On? We got a grab bag of weather going on really starting today. It's going to get warmer uh -huh. and then it's going to get cooler. So get ready okay, to, uh, you know, just be doing a little bit of everything. We'll jump out right away to our neighborhood network. Take a look at what's happening in Cape May right now. We still have a little bit of cloud cover out there, but really even in just the last about 10 or so minutes, we've really started to see the clouds clear out. We've shifted from that east southeasterly wind flow off of the Atlantic Ocean that we had through most of the morning to now more of a southwesterly wind. And while that's not necessarily a dry wind, it is not bringing in that upper level moisture off of again the Atlantic. So we're starting to get a little bit of some clear skies on our neighborhood network down the shore and here in the city. We're really looking very, very comfortable out there. Storm scan three currently showing you not a whole lot going on. A few high clouds are still out and about, but generally speaking, what we're going to be watching for is two distinct areas that are going to be affecting our weather really in about the next 48 hours or so. The first is this big ridge of high pressure that's down in the southeast. And then the second is a cold front that right now is draped out in the Midwest, and that is going to be our catalyst for the cooling down that we get towards the end of the week. So we'll show you again that setup kind of wide ranging here. It's a hot start to October. Again, high pressure is going to be in control around areas of high pressure. We get that clockwise flow. So what that means is we're bringing in air that is coming in out of the south and west, which is also warm. It's also very muggy conditions that are going to be in store for us as well. And again, we're going to be looking for temperatures maybe 10 to even at times 20 degrees above average starting today and then through the day tomorrow. And when we have those really high temperatures, we're going to be seeing the potential to break records on Wednesday afternoon for today. We're going to be in that kind of 10 degrees or so above average range. It's a warm first day of October. This afternoon, we're going to get up to a high of 82. You compare that to our average high of 72 and there's our 10 degree difference. Now tomorrow is really the day that you're going to be looking outside and going, oh my goodness, are you sure we're not in June or July? Because we get up to 91 degrees. It is going to be extremely humid tomorrow. We could be looking for heat index values that are in the mid 90s tomorrow afternoon. That 91 would smash the old record of 87 that was set back in 2002. So it actually wasn't even all that long ago that we set that record of 87. And again, we're going to be probably breaking it tomorrow as we get up into the 90s. Now, when it comes to temperatures that are this warm in the month of October, it's not totally unheard of. It just doesn't happen all that often. Our period of record for Philly goes back to 1873. And in that time, we've only actually had six days where we've gotten temperatures as hot as 90 degrees or more in the month of October. So if we do get that 90 degree day tomorrow, we'll be bumping that number up to seven. And the latest that we've ever seen a 90 degree day or hotter is actually October 10th of 1939. Don't think we're going to be looking for any days that are in the 90s beyond tomorrow. But again, that is the latest that we've ever seen some of those hot temperatures. Now, a big temperature swing is going to happen as we get towards the end of the week and the weekend. That high that's down to the southeast is going to break down. It's going to fade away. We're going to get a dip in the jet stream. And what we'll see is some strong northerly winds take over and our temperatures are really going to cool off. So 82 today, 91 again tomorrow. There's our beginning of the cool down on Thursday. A couple of showers maybe throughout the day. We're going to go with a temperature of 73 degrees and then here comes our fall like condition starting on Friday. It's cool. It's breezy 67 more 60s on Saturday and it does look like it should be nice for the Eagles game on Sunday too. All right, those temperatures are all over the place. Thank you. Thank you, Matt.